this is a lineup that hit all those home runs. They were a powerful uh, unit. Now they add Josh Donaldson. Uh, they clearly have big time expectations for 2020. They clearly are going to light up a scoreboard you would think on most nights. I mean they're going to beat some pretty bad pitching to the tune of a lot of fly balls that leave the park. But I think they've got some natural challenges. They're a much better team than last year. They've incre increased their chances with the with the arm using their pitching rotation. They still got a hurdle of March and April <laughs> in Minnesota. The because season's the starting so far earlier than we've ever seen it yeah. that if they can get through that I really believe you know you look at the weather is such an impact for these kind of teams that if you can just get through that first month your timing's not going to be great it's not comfortable to hit <laughs> and if you can get through that literally you start feeling really good about your chances as the season progresses and look what they did last year last year the weather was relatively if I remember correctly they, they escaped some of the potential problems they could have had. And uh, I, I know people are like, what do you got? Why are you going to the weather? I think that's such a big thing. You leave yeah. spring training in perfect conditions all the time, and you head to wherever they're going. I think they start on the road. I think they may start um, – I don't know if they start in Oakland, but, but the fact that they got to play the majority of those games in that March, April area in Minnesota is going to be interesting to see how they handle that. Yeah, Johnny, I listen, having spent all those years in Cleveland and gone into Minnesota and played them when they were in the Dome, you go in there in April and it's, you know, 30 yeah. degrees, it's hard hitting. But uh, I, I love this team and I, I like what they did. I mean, obviously you look at them offensively, this is a, a very powerful club. I think they're certainly the best offense in the Central and I think they're one of the best offenses along with the Yankees yeah. in the American League. Uh, I think they've also helped themselves defensively. I think getting Donaldson is going to help that ball club. You can move Sano over to first base. Mm -hmm. They get Buxton back in center field. Um, nice bullpen. Yeah. I think they've got a, a very solid. They got a lot of the Taylors and Trevors down there, and they're all just, you know, good arms. The rotation, uh, Pineda's coming back. Uh, they're hoping for Rich Hill. That could still be a bit of an issue, but uh, I think this club sort of falls into that you know, if not in the super team category, but they're they're getting okay. close. Okay. I, I'm, I've liked what they've done. I think for me, there's two guys. Uh, Jose Barrios, if he can take that next step from being really, really good to maybe elite. And you mentioned Byron Buxton. They don't need him to hit a whole lot of homers. They, they, they just need him to get healthy and be dynamic and be uh, a, a disrupting force and stabilizing force uh, there in the outfield. So uh, those are the two guys for me that I, I look to to see what maybe what ultimately the Minnesota Twins could, could be become in 2020.